Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our arms, both our biceps and triceps. Today also marks the 30th workout. So today would be end of the first phase of getting strong. I have gotten habituated to all the exercises. I have got back my strength in terms of controlling a bit heavier weights. So I hope that's the case with you if you have been following me along. So starting from the, my next workout, I would try to incorporate a little bit more intensity, a little bit of more variations to get more out of my workouts. Nothing extraordinary. We'll keep it still as simple as possible. We'll still keep the motive in building strength and in the process building good amount of muscle. To start off with, it's the same thing as usual. We are going to do our dynamic stretches, which includes the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. We have done this every day of our workout without fail, making sure to open up our body before we work out any, any muscle group. So, and before proceeding to my warm up, I just do a deep squat. This is one more thing I would keep doing on regular basis to make sure that my hips get open at least once in a day to a complete extent that's it we are done with our dynamic stretching now to start off with our warm-up exercises I'm going to do both my warm-ups my biceps and triceps one after other for my biceps I am doing uh, bubble curls till failure I have this preloaded bars at the gym so I'm going to use them if not you can just load the bar with a light amount of weight nothing much I'm using here 10 kilos so we curl in the partial range of motion for first phase till we hit failure then we go into full range of motion for our triceps we are going to do simple cable push downs again till failure at a very light weight nothing extremely heavy going to the full range of motion getting a lot of blood flowing into the muscle. In the, both the exercises, my focus was to get my hands go through the range of motion in terms of curling and extension and get as much blood into the muscle group as possible to make sure when I lift heavy, I get better contractions and better pump. So biceps, I'm nearing my failure. So I will switch into my full range of motion first first 20 to 25 repetitions were partial range with my triceps i keep it simple just a regular cable push downs to get maximum amount of blood flow into the muscle group while doing this warm up exercise by before you finish it you must be already feeling a bit heaviness in your arms that's a good sign that there's a lot of blood flow into the muscle group and it also ensures we carry the pump towards the last exercise in our working sets. So that's it for our warm up. Now let's proceed with our first working set. So for my first working set, I'm going to do the regular barbell curls, but I'm going to do it in the ladder style set. So for, as you know, when I mean ladder, I don't take a break. I keep increasing the weight and when I hit almost two to three reps then I start dropping the weight immediately like a drop set so I get to around 50 to 60 odd repetitions without any break in one set itself so here I have fixed weight barbells so if you don't have that you have uh, you might need to you know rack weights and de-rack them so it might take a little bit more longer but that's absolutely fine I would recommend trying out the ladder set wherein you start with a challenging weight and get 10 to 15 repetitions and then once you get those 10 15 repetitions you start increasing the weight immediately and the moment you hit two to three repetition mark you start dropping the weight again so i was able to climb up from 15 kilos of barbell weight up till 30 kilos and once i hit 30 I was not able to get more than two or three effective repetitions so I started dropping the weight. 
again it might take a little bit of time for you to put on the weights or you need to you know get multiple weights near you if you don't have fixed weight barbells available at your gym or at your setup but that's absolutely fine that break doesn't hamper the ladder set much by now my biceps were already uh, completely full of blood and it was making my life really difficult in terms of getting a contraction because they became extremely tight that's it that was my heaviest set now i start dropping the weight down again like a drop set every time i do a bicep curl i try to stand i at least not try but i do stand straight i might cheat a little bit by leaning forward but never leaning back to get the weight up i also like to get uh, raise my shoulders slightly get my elbow slightly forward with midline of my body to get maximum contraction of my bicep you can see that while i'm doing the exercise and i go for my last weight set of my ladder set so this one exercise can get your bicep really done for the day but we do have a couple of more exercises to do but that's how ladder set is an excellent killer i'm doing the same for my next exercise i have taken a good uh, minute or two break for my next exercise i'm going to do the overhead extension while laying down again i'm going to do it in the ladder style so i start with a nominal weight get 10 to 15 repetition mark in between maybe 12 repetitions still challenging not very easy to get 15 reps challenging 12 to 15 rep range and then start switching my weight up here i as you can see how i place my triceps at a complete stretch behind my head the bar never comes in line with my eyes it stays always behind my head and the cue here is to imagine throwing the bar away from your head far away imagine someone standing behind you and you're trying to throw the bar behind you so uh, in that cue you're trying to get complete extension of your tricep as you can see as my elbows lock out my triceps lock out and since i have placed my arms behind my head my triceps are at a stretch so i'm getting maximum amount of contraction in my tricep muscle the challenging part about uh, doing a ladder set is racking and deracking the weights because you have to be you'll try to be as quick as possible and when you're taking that 15 10 to 15 odd seconds of break you start feeling the tiredness in your muscle but that's what you need to overcome in terms of building endurance and strength mostly it's about the mental fortitude if if you keep telling yourself i can keep going on you can definitely get a few more reps out of you so let's keep pushing i was in my third weight increment and now i ran out of bars i just run to grab the bars because i couldn't take hold of all the bars with me there were other people working out in the gym so as you can see 10 to 15 seconds of break in between is absolutely fine what we want is to keep the tempo going with triceps you might not be able to go as heavy or it might be other it might be other case for me with triceps I, i'm not able to go as heavy as i could i was able to only go up till 25 kilos uh, in case of biceps i was able to go up till 30 kilos because i started with biceps i was a little bit tired by the time i was starting with my triceps so i have done my heaviest weight for a couple of reps now i start dropping my weight So you just need to do one set of this insane uh, variation. By end of this workout, your arm should feel extremely heavy and full of blood. It's a good sign. So you might need to uh, take 
up to two to three minutes break to get back for our next exercise. Try to get as many repetitions as possible with every weight. There is no uh, rule that you know you need to get uh, 10 reps or you need to get 8 reps. It's, it's like trying to get as much as possible. But yes, the first weight you start with, try to get 12 to 15 repetitions. And from there, let the uh, weight increase and repetitions drop as it goes forward. That's it. We're done with our ladder set. Now for my second exercise, I'm doing two sets of, for my bicep, for my second bicep exercise, I'm doing uh, two sets of single hand preacher curls. Again, if you remember in my previous videos also, I like to keep my chest away from my bicep to get a bit more uh, stretch on my bicep muscle while doing the preacher curls. So I've done two sets. 12 repetitions each hand. Again, an excellent exercise for you to get peak contractions and also experience eccentric control. As you can see, I, I was a little bit out of strength, so I took the support of my other arm, arm to get through the challenging phase of the curl. One arm of yours might be a little bit stronger or might be able to get a couple of more reps out of it than the other arm. So you need not worry, just help the comparatively weaker arm a little bit. And that's it, we were done with our second exercise. For my second exercise of tricep, I am doing single hand rope push downs. Again, two sets, 12 to 15 repetitions. What you have to make sure is to get complete elbow extension get your triceps completely contracted try to also keep your elbows just behind your body if it comes or if it happens to move a little bit forward that's okay but just try to keep it as behind your body as possible now for my third uh, exercise bicep exercise i am doing the palms facing down dumbbell curls to get a bit of forearm activation and the outer bicep again 12 repetitions two sets but here i am doing it like a combo set so after one set of bicep curls with the dumbbells palms facing down i am going to do tricep extensions and then again come back to the bicep curls so it's like a combo set in between i was taking 30 to 60 seconds break depending upon how I feel. Uh, I've, my arms by now were already full of blood so it was difficult for me to move the weight into complete contraction so I was pushing myself really hard. So if that's the case you take the break which is suitable to you but not a very long break that's not required in between this combo set. So done with bicep curls take 30 to 60 seconds jump into our tricep overhead dumbbell extensions i am here doing the arnold 7 variation so seven repetitions in the lower range of motion seven repetitions in the top half and then seven repetitions full range of motion you can also choose to do this exercise on a cable setup if you are not very fond of using a dumbbell you can use cable you can set it the cable level at a very low height and then start pushing it up so as i mentioned so my for my second set again 12 repetitions with the combo set in between the break was 30 to 60 seconds we do the dumbbell curls with palms facing down and dumbbell moving across our body onto our chest get more of forearm and bicep activation for triceps we are sticking to the arnold sevens so that's it for our bicep and tricep workout i hope you were able to finish all the exercises and reps like i did and if you liked it please do drop a like 
on the video. If you have any feedback, please do share it in the comment section. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I would request you, please do subscribe. The more subscribers I have, the more motivation I get. So to finish off my workout, I am going to do the static stretches for both my biceps and triceps. For biceps, you just place your arm at shoulder level and turn or move your shoulder and chest away from the bicep, creating a stretch. For both arms, we hold for 15 to 20 seconds. If for any reason you're not feeling the stretch, try rotating the elbow a little bit like in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. There might be a point where you start feeling the stretch. You can also move your wrist a little bit if you don't feel the stretch in your bicep muscle. But otherwise, you should be able to get it pretty easily. Hold the stretch for 15 to 20 seconds to ensure your bicep regains its neutral length. After all those contractions, it's pretty important because right now our bicep will be at a very shortened position with all those exercises we have done. Now for my triceps, I'm just using the same Smith machine to just place my elbows up and then push my body behind, stretching my triceps. When you're doing this, you might feel a little bit stretch in your lats too. That's absolutely fine. So that's it. That was our last stretch. Thank you again for joining me. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. And that's it. We are done with our 30th day of workout. And I'll see you with a little bit more intensity in my next video. Thank you and have a good day.